Hi shiny lights, here are 10 tips for better psychic messages. Strap in, this one's gonna be a little bit longer, but it's gonna be worth it. Ready? Tip one, meditation. And before you roll your eyes, this is actually the thing that is gonna make the connection between you and your spirit guides, your higher self, and all those great downloads you're after. Meditation. Meditation is actually the secret source that gets you from where you are now to where you want to be. But it doesn't have to be super hard and you don't have to sit cross-legged chanting and making funny shapes with your fingers. No, it can be very simple and very easy. And when you work with me, that's the first thing I get you to do. So if that's unusual for you, if you're going, mm, okay, find pockets of the day that you can just stare out the window or check in or just lower the screen and ponder because that is also checking in with your psychic inbox as well so it doesn't have to be sitting cross-legged but you do have to spend a few moments being present and being mindful if you can do that you've done step one step two go with your gut sounds really normal but you know those old sayings that we have in language they've got a root in truth and go with your gut is it our gut instinct, our gut knowledge, guess what? The source of our psychic power is actually our solar plexus, our gut. So when we say go with your gut, it means check in, feel in your body the truth of it because your body will know the truth. So how to action this? Check in with your gut. Is your body saying yes or no? Is it going hell yeah? Or is it kind of squinching up going yeah, no? Trust your gut, it knows before you do. That's step two. Third way to getting better psychic messages is find something that makes you feel open and relaxed. Because when we are open and relaxed, that's when the psychic messages come down. When we're all tense and grabby and freaked out, we actually repel our psychic and our intuition. So we need to find something that's gonna make us open and relaxed. For me, that's yoga. For you, it could be when you're walking your dog, when you're chopping the vegetables at night, even when you're ironing. Find another pocket in the day that you could have a little relaxation break, even if it's just making a cup of tea and staring out the window. Step four to getting better psychic messages is actually learn to working with your guides. And it's a lot easier than you think. Even if you don't know them, even if you don't know their names or their name, rank and serial numbers, your guides are still there. How do you work with them? You have little conversations with them in your mind. That's it. Your guides are already tuned into you. They've been tuned in since before you were born. You can just have little conversations with them and say, look, hey, I'd like some information on this or what do you think about that? And then wait for the breadcrumb trails, the signs, the coincidences, the signals to come in. And that way you'll feel the presence of your guide even if you don't know their name, rank and serial number. And if you'd like to know more about guides, I do have a handy downloads on the ultimate guide to guides, which is delivered in my usual no BS, no fluff, practical way. I'll pop the link for that down below. And we're halfway there. Number five, the big word, trust. Ha ha. Intuition is the thing that comes before thought. And when we remember this, we know that the first thought that comes, the first feeling, the first image, the first word, that's usually the one to go with. So. Action step, go with that gut, go with that first word, that feeling, and see if it pans out. Learn to listen to the very first thing that comes because it will be right. And if you'd like to know more about that, I do have a little mini course called Trust Your Intuition where you can dive deeper. But in essence, it is taking that very first thought and being mindful because we've had pockets in the day where we have tuned in and we're going with that very first thought, word, or feeling. So that's trust. We're doing really well. Thanks for hanging in there, by the way. The sixth one is don't worry about your chakras. There is so much you don't have to worry about and your chakras is one of them. Your chakras are invisible parts of your anatomy. They are fine as they are. If they weren't open, you'd be dead. Yes, you'd be dead. And since you're not dead, your chakras are fine. Yeah. Don't need your chakras open or extra open in order to get your psychic messages. You're fine as you are. And the seventh one is getting into practice. 
Practice reading the vibes off people, off things, off places. This is actually called psychometry in psychic speak and it basically just means feeling into something and getting the messages. You can practice this with photos, you even do it with Facebook profile images, right? And you can do it with places and even things. Get someone to give you something like a ring or a watch or something like that. Not a mobile phone, doesn't really work but a ring or something of theirs, a wallet, something in their handbag and practice feeling the vibes off that and you'd be surprised to see how accurate you are. That's called psychometry. And we've got two more to go. Number eight is relax, 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 relax. The more wound up you are, the harder you're trying, the more you're busting a chakra to try and get something, the less you're gonna get. So easy tip, relax and let go. When I work with my students on the Psychic Connection Package and with my VIPs, I kid around and I say, look, pretend you've had three glasses of wine. Not that I want you to have three glasses of wine, but that feeling of just letting go, you don't care, there's nothing invested in this, I'm just gonna say it. And when you let go and come at it from that viewpoint, Oh my goodness, it is so usually accurate. So that's my last tip, be relaxed, let go. And we're coming up to number nine. Number nine is keep a development journal, keep a log of all your hits, the dreams, the thoughts, the funky coincidences, because they can't all be coincidences, can they? No, this is such an internal journey. You know, our psychic development is something that we do pretty much alone. It's good to have a record because we'll have days where we go, Nuh, I'm a potato, Nuh, it's not really working, Nuh, you know, what am I doing? You'll have those days. But when you look back on the journal, you'll go, oh, that was good, and that was good, and that was pretty awesome too, and that will keep you on track. So the ninth tip is keep a journal. Fantastic, you've made it to number 10. The 10th one is you're okay as you are. Everybody approaches this from their unique gifts. No one's gonna be the same. So there's no cookie cutter psychics out there. Your way is okay. And we're always adding more tools to our belt every single time. So hanging out with me here on my YouTube channel is you're always gonna get tips and tricks here to add to your tool belt. And also in my Facebook community, the Psychic Playground is a fantastic place for savvy women to gather and support each other and be held and of course there's also the psychic connection package my signature course and I'd love to work with you one-on-one -on -one as well there's lots and lots of ways you can add to your psychic toolbook so you can get extra messages extra psychic hits and really feel like you're connected so that's my 10 tips for getting better psychic messages thank you for letting me be your psychic mentor today ciao um, oh. Step <laughs> or did I say count? No. <laughs> and you <laughs>